I got scammed, almost. Let me tell you what happened so it doesn't happen to you. Here's what happened. Sitting around on a Saturday on the couch and my phone goes off. It's a text message from my bank. Beautiful logo, everything looks legit. And it says, click this link to confirm or deny that it was you. And I've already deleted it. I, I wish I would have saved it so I could show you, but um, it had a picture of the bank. It looked really good. Total scam, super frustrating. I asked my wife because she's in this account all the time. She says she's running by the bank. She'll actually will go in and, and, and talk to someone. So what makes this interesting is the day before I go to this movie regarding just this, identity theft and, and scams. It's Jason Statham's uh, new movie called um, uh, Book, I think it's uh, B Beekeeping. And it's a lady, he, he's renting uh, like this barn or something from this lady and this lady gets on her computer and she's working for the day and all of a sudden um, on her computer pops up a big red notice and it says, hey, you have a virus, call this 800 number. So she calls the 800 number and they tell her, hey, listen, you purchased this um, antivirus when you bought the computer. Well, you know where I'm going here. She ends up getting too much information. They wipe out her entire life savings and sadly, um, the movie starts out with her taking her whole life. And then of course, Jason Statham goes on a, uh, a rampage for justice. So scammers are going after older people who have been saving money. We've all, all heard these scams, but how do you protect yourself? All right, first you've got to call the phone number on the back of the credit card or your bank card. I have a friend who's in IT security. He's a local IT guy to college. And he says they can even mimic your bank's phone number when calling you. I mean, this is getting pretty crazy. And some things to think about is you might not want to be announcing on Facebook and other social media sites that you're going out of town on specific dates, right? You don't want to tell someone, hey, I'm out of town. I'm going to Florida. Can you help dog sit or uh, water the plants while I'm gone between X date and X date? I wouldn't be reusing the same passwords on multiple sites. I'd go paperless, I'd shred docs, I'd get my mail from the mailbox every single day. And on social media, don't accept requests from people that you don't know. Limit what you share online. Don't open emails that you're unsure of and only trust apps on your phone that you are confident in. With AI and all the voice technology, you have to be so careful. And please, please consider two-factor authentication. Check out this video I did on creating the perfect day. Um, you're in retirement now, you're feeling better, how to protect yourself from these types of scams. Now let's take it up a notch. Think about how you can create more perfect days in retirement. If this was helpful, hit that like and subscribe button. And as always, remember to consult a licensed professional who understands your specific goals and dreams.